Hi everyone! As you can tell, this video is slightly different to my usual covers. Um, the reason for that is I just wanted to give you a bit of an insight into what I get up to as a musician living in London. It's the start of the bank holiday today, Friday the 3rd of May, and yeah, I'm just going to film everything I do music-wise, and hopefully you'll find it interesting and informative and enjoyable to watch. It's a pretty normal weekend, no kind of private gigs or anything planned, um, so I can film everything, which is cool. Today is the only thing that's kind of slightly... Sorry, my camera decided to cut out. Um, as I was saying, today's the only thing that's kind of different. Um, so I'm going to a studio in Sutton to work with a guy called Adrian that I've heard very good things about, so I'm excited. And we're going to be recording two acoustic versions of some singles that I've got coming out this summer. I did an acoustic version of my last single, Wait, and it seemed to go down quite well. I think people like seeing the kind of raw, vulnerable versions of songs because it kind of really showcases the lyrics and what the song's really about. I'm just going to do some vocal warm-ups um, so that I sound the best that I can possibly sound. Just thought I'd show you this. Um, so in preparation for the acoustic recording today, um, the girl that I wrote the song with, Katie Ray, she sent me a piano part um, which I sent to Adrian, so it's literally just going to be a day of vocals. Yeah, I've got a little one. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the one to stop anybody else loving you But maybe there's a reason when we're around each other There's nobody else in the room When you touch me, I just come alive I'm thinking about you and me And all that we could be if it was you and me What would make you happy in the room? Don't know if I want to cross the line But I'm thinking about you It's nicer, isn't it? Have to control it with an app, which is. Oh, <laughs> like a, hopefully make a... <gasps> well, there's more of a vibe in it. Kind of purple vibe. Yeah. I'm doing what we always said I would, but somehow it just feels a little different. Going at it alone. I'm doing fine, but I need to know. The next day now, Saturday, got no busking planned, no gigs, so I'm gonna get on with doing all the rewards for my latest Kickstarter campaign. Thank you so, so much if you did pledge towards that. I reached the goal and went a little bit over, which was amazing. Glad I didn't go busking. I'm just reading some YouTube comments, um, and I just wanna give a little shout out to those who regularly comment on my videos. Having people always coming back to your videos it feels so nice and um, it really spurs me on to keep you know making videos and yeah I really appreciate it so thank you very much to Snipe and Rutos Art, Peter Whalen and Lauren Newbury Thank you for your support and I hope you enjoy the next video. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I hope you like this one as well. If you ever have any requests as well, feel free to write in the comments because sometimes I do run out of ideas. These are the CDs I'm sending out. This is my last EP Hindsight and some people on the Kickstarter campaign bought these. So I'm going to sort all those out and sign them. Then I do a little thank you note, very DIY thank you note. Um, but you know, it just adds a bit of a personal touch and I'm going to write out all the handwritten lyric sheets and then I'm going to concentrate on the music. So yeah, let's go. I 
I need a break from writing. I don't think I've written that much since school. So in the meantime, I'm gonna show you the little room that I make all my magic in. So this is it. This was actually advertised as a bedroom, believe it or not. That's London for you. This is my desk. Lovely curtains, I would change that, but rented property. So yeah, that's my desk. This is my piano, um, which is also a MIDI keyboard, so it connects to Logic and I can make cool sounds with it. Uh, that's my ring light. That's my heater, because it's freezing for some reason. Guitars. And this, this beauty is the mic I use, the Aston Origin. Look at that. It's a really good mic, it's quite bright, which I like. And it's very affordable as well, so if you're looking to get a microphone, I'd thoroughly recommend this one. And I use it with the Focus Right Scarlet, I think it's a 2i2 or something. I've had it for, wow, I've had it for six years and it's still going strong. These are some acoustic foam panels, which I just realized aren't straight. Great. And I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to sound treat this room a little bit better because there's a really horrible reverby ring when you clap your hands or sing loud um, that does not sound nice on recordings. Um, so hopefully this will help a little bit. I just need to get some more adhesive stuff so I can put the rest up. Um, to properly sound treat a room you do need to spend quite a lot of money so I'm going to gradually kind of work it up but yeah as it's a rented property I can't like nail anything in or anything but I found a way to do it um, I got some adhesive spray sprayed it on a piece of card and then put the card on the foam and then just used little strips to put it to the wall so yeah it's worked quite well so far Originally I stuck the strip straight to the foam to the wall but it kept falling down and scaring the hell out of me so um, Yeah, this way's a lot better. So yeah, that's my little room and I'm gonna get back to doing these lyrics Lying on the floor feeling six feet under I don't think I can do this again Pressure in my head in the form of thunder Numb from my neck to my legs shoot on Tuesday with no Monday with a guy called Fraser Taylor who did my last artwork for my hindsight EP and he's just sent me through some kind of artwork ideas because I was struggling to like come up with something good because I'm not amazing on Photoshop um, I'll let you look at the kind of things we've come up with I really like the pink theme because it kind of matches the top and the kind of modern like capitals I really like this one. I think it'd look good if maybe kind of one of them was bold and then all these were a bit more transparent and opaque. Um, but yeah, I think that could be a really cool cover. So I really like this photo and I like how it kind of looks like Polaroid stacked on top of each other. Love it. And then that one's pretty cool as well. That's quite like modern, isn't it? Which one do you like best? I think I like this one. But with, like, maybe even these taken out. This is another one of the photos, which I think is lovely. I love how the light's hitting my face in that. I'm kind of squinting in my left eye, but I think it looks nice. 
Shout out to Alessia for doing my makeup too, because I couldn't have done it like that. And I think this one would be quite cool for like a poster or something. Because um, it's got a lot of obviously white space at the top, so maybe you could put like gig dates or something. This one we were um, playing about with light, so I, I held a rose kind of up to the window. I love this photo, I think it looks really natural. This was caught on film. Fraser's got some really cool cameras. I'll put his website in the description by the way. Just doing a bit of songwriting. Um, I had some lyrics and a little tune idea that I really want to kind of expand on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, just going to keep the camera rolling and see what happens. The lyrics are, I used to love the colour red, but now it's tainted with memories or lack of them because we were always wasted. Um, yeah. I used to love the colour red, but now it's tainted with memories or lack of them because we were always wasted. Hopefully there won't be too much of a queue because I've left it a little bit late. I guess I kinda like the way you know 
was fun the weather was very grim though um so i only stayed for like a couple of hours max but yeah i met some really nice people it wasn't as busy as i thought it would be on a bank holiday monday but i think that's something to do with the weather and they had some like travel issues with some of the tube lines and the trains and stuff so i don't know when i got back i just had a chill to be honest i watched game of thrones with my housemates then i went to the pub and now i'm just kind of sorting the room out for the week ahead but yeah stay tuned i've got new music coming very very soon i've also got instagram which i post on quite a lot so if you want to be the first to know then follow me on there sorry if it's been a bit boring um i'm still kind of getting used to remembering to get the camera out to film stuff and um i guess this weekend's been pretty chill and pretty normal so yeah i'll try pick a more exciting week next time but thank you for watching if you got to the end. Um, I really appreciate your support and I hope you're excited for the new music because I am and I'm really proud of it. So yeah, see you very soon. Hope you've had a good week.